little discrepancy to those numbers, but again, the latest numbers from the Virgin Islands Department of Health as we begin this new week show there are currently 525 active cases throughout the territory. And across the nation, a new spinoff of the Omicron coronavirus variant is catching some attention now. It's becoming the dominant strain of COVID-19 in some parts of the world right now. But top U.S. health officials say there's no need to panic over the lineage. Mandy Gaither explains in today's Health Minute. It's called BA2, a subvariant of Omicron, first detected in mid November, now identified in at least 49 countries, including the U.S. We're keeping a very close eye on it. Looks a bit more transmissible, but not necessarily more severe. Like the more familiar version of Omicron, BA2 has a large number of changes, about 20 concentrated in the spike protein, the part of the virus that's targeted by vaccines. Does it evade our immune system? Does it evade the immunity that we've acquired from Omicron infection or the vaccines? Most of the evidence so far, and it's preliminary, suggests it doesn't. A report from the UK suggests current vaccines protect about as well against this subvariant as it does the original Omicron variant, with better protection against symptoms, an average of about 70% two weeks after a booster. The only thing I feel pretty confident about is that we'll have more, more variants, we'll have future variants. So let's begin to prepare. Health experts say no matter what the future throws at us, we now have the tools we need to be ready, including COVID-19 testing, widespread masking, and the best protection against the virus, vaccination, and boosters. So whenever the next variant hits, we're going to be ready. We won't have to shut down schools. We won't have to shut down our lives. We'll manage our way through it. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Thank <laughs> you.